Hey guys, it's Womble, and today I'm going to be showing you how to open up your NAT type on an AT&T connection. I have seen tons and tons and tons of videos on how to do this, and none of them work uh, for AT&T specifically. AT&T, uh, they don't have anything specific for gamers to open up their NAT types, and it's really annoying to do. I've always had a hard time connecting my friends when I'm playing because some of them also have NAT type issues and their NAT type will be moderate or strict. Uh, my NAT type has been strict as well before. Let's get right into this. As you see in the bottom right, my NAT type is moderate. So we're going to go on the computer. So now that we're on the computer, you want to check the back of your router and there will be a advanced configuration uh, IP address that you put in. I don't know exactly what I should be censoring on this video, so I'm just going to censor all the IP addresses, any kind of address that I see. Now, I'm on my setup, and what you want to do is go to Firewall. Then you want to set up an IP pass-through. Now you see the allocation mode, I have mine turned off. You want to turn that to default server. Now the default server eternal address. That needs to be your uh, console that you want to have your NAT type open. This works on Xbox, PlayStation, uh, even works on your PC. I had some trouble playing Counter-Strike with some people. To find the right IP, uh, you can go on your console or whatever, but since you're right here, the at and thing does allow you to go and look at all the IP addresses connected to your router. So you go to device, device list. Now my Xbox's name is Xbox One Shay. Let me find that right here and find the IP address connected to that. Now I will go to firewall, IP pass through, default server. I already have the IP set in, and I will go to save. Okay, now that I've saved that, uh, let's go back to the Xbox and see if it changed. Now, as you can see in the bottom right, my NAT type is now open. I didn't have to restart my Xbox or anything. I just restarted my game, and I can connect to any of my friends if I wanted to and be able to play with them without having any kind of issues or join parties with them without having issues. Now, if this helped you in any way, I'd really appreciate a like on the video, and if you have any troubles with any of the steps, uh, leave a comment, and I'll make sure to get to you as soon as I can and help you fix any problems that you're having. But anyway, guys, this has been Wobble, and I'll see you guys later. Mm, bye.